Hello, this is Tim Heider, uh, Product Application Specialist for PLC and HMI. And today I'm, I'm super excited to, to tell you about a new function uh, in GXWorks 3. Uh, you know, we promote that we have a lot of maintenance, built-in maintenance functionality and features in the products. Um, and now I want to show you something in the software side in GXWorks 3 that has just been added. Uh, so you will need to, to go online and download the latest uh, GXWorks 3 1.065T um, that is published to our website. And the new function that I want to tell you about is data flow analysis function. I'm super excited about this. I think it's going to uh, greatly improve the ability to troubleshoot why a bit has, is turning on or not turning on uh, very quickly. Uh, it does support devices, labels, and comments uh, in a flowchart style, which we'll see here in a minute. I'll do a quick demonstration. So it does support instruction names. Um, you know, so for, for example, we can see down here uh, a B move, a block move. Uh, it also supports all the main program languages, so function block diagram, SFC, uh, structured text, and standard ladder. Uh, so with that, let me let me show you what this what this actually looks like. I have a project here, a very basic project I made just to show you this demo. Uh, I've got a structured text program. Um, I've got some some ladder logic. Uh, some other ladder logic in a different program file uh, and some function block diagram. So structured text um, in an initial uh, scan time routine. Uh, we got some uh, standard scan programs with two different program files, main and main one. And within those we have uh, different POU uh, program, uh, program blocks. So just looking at this for example, um, you know, if I wanted to know what uh, what turns on M3, for example, or where is M3 used, uh, a lot of times I would be able to hit Control F uh, to to quickly bring up Find and Replace. Right, we're all familiar with that. I can click Select All. I can see it here. Uh, I can double click and find it here. Or if I'm on a label, I can hit Control F, Find All. Uh, I can see the definition of the label. Um, <clears throat> I can see where it's used in the program here, and then also that it's used uh, in my initial routine in the structured text. Uh, that's Control F. So you know everybody knows that you're all familiar with that. Now another one is Control E, which you're also familiar with, which is cross reference. So it brings up my global label and cross reference, uh, gives me the locations uh, where it's used there. A brand new one though is Control Shift E. And that brings up data flow. So we don't have to use Control Shift D. I just think it's a nice shortcut. Um, we can also find this in Find and Replace Data Flow Analysis. And there it is, Control Shift E. Additionally, we can find this uh, View Docking Window, and we can bring up Data Flow Analysis to, to dock this window. Um, so what happens then is it gives me a very nice graphical flow chart here of that global label and it tells me what are the items that influence that global label so we here see here um, another label i can click on that it takes me directly to the program uh, let me bring this up and lock it in it takes me exactly to that program location i can click on this or block and it takes me to the or so again um, this tells me that there's two different things influencing this. Now with, with the pointer selected, then I can also click this, um, go back here and drag it over, maybe bring it up, minimize it a little bit. I can click the plus sign and I can keep drilling down to get to exactly what is driving this global label. So I can see that's coming from M3, and that's coming from a move statement, coming from M2, coming from M1, and eventually M0. And at any point along here, I can just double click, and it takes me right to that location. So extremely fast, extremely awesome functionality. Um, I've got comments in here, so I can choose to view the comments, uh, view the device, it gets rid of the comment, so that's up to you if you want the comments in there, that's helpful. It tells me what the programs are, so here's my initial scan program, program 2, program 1, and program 0. It's really awesome, it, it does labels and devices, it does global labels, so I have one called my global variable, and local labels, so here's my local label, um, all included in here. 
These two icons here, I can pan around or I can actually click on a, an item. I can also come in here and maybe I want uh, to do the same thing with M2. I can say right click data flow analysis on M2. And now what happens is M2 is my object. I can zoom in a little bit and M2 is now the focus. At any given time, I could go back to the other objects that I've selected. Um, it tells me what step or what row and column it's on. So for example, if I double click here on this move, it'll take me to that move block and that's row three, column seven. Um, so row three, one, two, three, right there. It's column seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right there. So that's what that tells us. Um, additionally, I can see that M2 influences things downstream and I can again see what all is influenced downstream from M2. Additionally, uh, we can see if things are assigned in parameters. So I've got a program here that is using some labels that are uh, appears to be undefined if I wanted to know where this label come, came from. Again, I could right click and say data flow analysis and now I'm looking at this label. And what you'll see here that's a little bit different is a block within the block. This tells me that there's a parameter assigned to this uh, from the RJ71 GN11T2 or the IETSN module. So now if I double click on this, this will take me directly to that module to the parameters that are influenced there and you can see that RY is selected. So I know that this label is coming from RY. I could also click on here and see that that selected RX. So I know that that label is defined somewhere in these RXs. So, so X within the X 100s to 2FF somewhere in this range. So if I go back to that program and I will just show you a view device, you can see X 100 is driving Y100. So these labels I had given X100 and Y100. So so again, quick quick summary. Data flow analysis included with GXWorks 3. It works with IQF and IQR. We can get to it very quickly by going to find and replace data flow analysis or view docking window data flow analysis or hitting control shift E or right clicking and choosing data flow analysis. Uh, I think this is an extremely awesome function and I hope that you can use this as uh, you know another tool in our belt. Thanks again and have a great day.